All right, onwards to the next turtle challenge. So this one is going to be a little bit more intensive, but still a bit of a warm up. So we're just going to go for a light jog and we're going to draw a dashed line. You're going to get your turtle to draw a line like this, where it's going to draw a line for 10 paces and then a gap of 10 paces and then a solid line for 10 paces again. And it's going to repeat this until it does this 50 times. The actual length of the line doesn't really matter. The actual length of each of the sections doesn't really matter. What's really important is you're able to get this alternating draw, no draw thing going on. To complete this challenge, you're going to need to look through the documentation and maybe also use the help of Google or Stack Overflow and figure out how you can get this behavior to happen. Have a think about it and pause the video and complete the challenge. All right, so if we look through the table of contents here, we can see that the thing that controls the pen is in this section. We can control its drawing, color, filling, and more. Now, if we look at the drawing control, you can see we can get it to pen down and pen up. When we pull the pen down, that means the pen is on the paper and it's gonna make a mark. But when the pen is pulled up, then there's going to be no drawing happening when our turtle is moving. That means we can write some sort of loop, right? Where we get our turtle to move forwards by 10 paces. And then we can get this to pull the pen up. And what this is going to do is allow us to move forwards without drawing. So now while the pen is held up, we're going to go forwards once more, another 10 paces. This is going to draw the blank. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and put the pen down again. So now all we need is for these four steps to repeat 15 times. So we can write a for loop and then create a range that goes from zero to 15. And then once we indent this block inside the for loop and run our code, then you can see it draw our dashed line. Did you manage to get this solution? Did you manage to find the relevant part of the documentation to be able to pull the pen up and put the pen down? Or did you simply change your code so that it drew black and then it drew white? All of these solutions would work, but what I really wanted you to do is to dig through the documentation and find the parts which will help you to achieve your goals. Head over to the next lesson and I've got another slightly harder challenge for you.